Hello there, my name is Hocus and welcome to How to Redstone. Today we will look at the Etho Hopper Clock, how it works, how to build it, and some simple examples of how this circuit may be applied in your Minecraft world. The Etho Hopper Clock functions based on the movement of items between two hoppers. Items are free to flow between the hoppers because they are facing each other. Comparators are used to send a redstone signal when a hopper has items in it. Every so often, based on how many items are in the hoppers, one of the hoppers will momentarily become empty, resulting in the loss of signal from the corresponding comparator. This means that the piston on the same side of the clock as the empty hopper will retract, and the opposing piston will be able to extend, changing the position of the redstone block. The redstone block, in this case, determines the on-off state of the redstone circuit, and you can see that when the block is over the redstone line, the lamp turns on. As stated previously, the etho hopper clock functions based on the movement of items between two hoppers. The more items in the hoppers, the longer the amount of time between the on-off state of the circuit. One stack of items in the hoppers translates to roughly 25 seconds. Based on this approximation, one item is equal to 0.39 seconds. Let's take a look at how to build an etho hopper clock. So you'll want to start with two hoppers facing each other, like so. Facing away from the hoppers, you want two comparators, one on each side, and they should be facing into a block on each side also. In front of this block, you'll want a single piece of redstone. Inside of these redstone pieces, we'll need two pistons, and they must be sticky in this situation. So ensure that they are facing inside and ensure that they are sticky. And then you'll want to place down your block of redstone and this will be the basis of your circuit. Now you need to decide how many items you're gonna to wanna to put into the hoppers. So let's go for a stack and place them in and that should kick off the circuit. And then you can decide which of the sides of the clock will be your on state and which will be the off. In this situation, I'm gonna make the right side our on state. So I'll place down my redstone line like so. And that means whenever the redstone block is on the right hand side of the clock, the clock is powering the circuit. When it's on the left hand side, it'll be in the off state and the circuit will become unpowered. The etho hopper clock is best used when an alternating signal is required to power a circuit on and off repeatedly. For example, you could use this clock designed to hold and release water on a timer using trap doors. Another simple use of the etho hopper clock, which we've already seen, is to power a lamp on and off. Alright then, that is all for this episode of How to Redstone. If you have any questions about the Etho Hopper Clock, please feel free to join my Discord, which there is a link to in the description, or leave a comment down below. I'd greatly appreciate a like on this video if you found it useful and or enjoyed it. And if you're new to the channel, then first of all, welcome, welcome. My name is Hocus. If you want to see more of my Minecraft content, then please consider hitting the subscribe button. Okay guys, take care, have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.